So I'm gonna folks, I'm gonna do a three part series where I talk about how to stay motivated for dieting when it comes to fat loss. So this is gonna be an extensive series and it's really gonna to touch upon bits of psychology behind motivation and habits and things like that. Uh, how to cultivate discipline, how to set the right intentions, um, how to get inspired to start your fat loss diet and even how to, in the long run, develop passion for that. Because you can develop passion for just about anything if you work hard enough and you apply yourself. So, first things first, an important distinction to make. When people talk about motivation for fat loss, um, particularly in the context of that, and what they really mean is adherence rather than motivation. You see, motivation is really something more specific and when people talk about motivation for that, and it's really just adherence. In other words, adherence is defined as your ability to successfully stick to that. And when it comes to what is the most important variable on a fat loss diet, it is adherence at the end of the day. It's not really about the details behind the diet. It doesn't matter if it's a keto diet, a vegan diet, carnivore diet, that with carbs in it. At the end of the day, if you are cutting your calories and creating that calorie deficit and you're eating an ample amount of protein and you're eating healthy, nutrient-dense foods that are diet-friendly and keep you full, satisfied and satiated, you're home in a boat, you're winning. And those are the keys to success. Obviously, the calorie deficit being the most important variable there. But consistency is what underpins it all and wins the day. So the first thing, you can break adherence down, and this is really gonna be the crux of this series. You can break adherence down into six components or six constructs. So the first construct is inspiration. And you can also imagine that these constructs operate on a timeline. So you first get inspired, then you get motivated, then you begin to set the right intentions, then you put the right habits in place to successfully that, and as well as that you then go on to develop the discipline you need to maintain your debt. And then ultimately, this is the long-term goal, this may take, you know, maybe at least six months, if not longer, maybe even years. Passion. Passion is something that gets you out of bed without even thinking about it. It gets you in the gym without even thinking twice about it. It's kind of like the way you would brush your teeth, you don't think twice about it, but not only do you not think twice about it and you just do it, but you actually get a lot of intrinsic joy and satisfaction from doing it. And people might think watching this video, like that's crazy, how could you be passionate about dad? And like, it's fucking, it's mental, it's it's so tough, it's so depriving. Um, I feel like I'm about, to, I'm about to starve here. Well, first off, if you feel like you're deprived or you feel like you're starving, you're probably doing it wrong. And that's where you need a higher coach who knows what they're doing, who's been the way, can show you the way, and, know, and knows the way. Um, but again, that's the topic for another day. But to get into it, the first construct of adherence on a fat loss diet is inspiration. So inspiration is that spark. It's that catalyst that gets you going. You're not gonna get anywhere if you don't get inspired in the first place. Give you an example that isn't really the fitness. Um, you might go watch Creed or Rocky or a boxing film or Warrior, which is an MMA based film. You watch it and then you take an ocean afterwards. Jeez, you know, like I, I might like take up boxing. I might go to a boxing gym. I might start training. You know, might go out and pair, might go out and buy a pair of gloves, and you start even fucking. <laughs> I know for a fact there's fellas watching this, who fucking even start shadow boxing, like because we all fucking do it. Like, don't lie, like we all do it in our own time, like in the morning, in the morning, in the mornings, like. <laughs> but um, yeah. So you you get inspired after watching Rocky, and you think, fuck, I, I it could be a, maybe I could be a boxer here. You know, maybe I could make something of it. I'll join a gym, get training, and you never know. That that typically lasts, you know, maybe a few hours afterwards, maybe even a day, a couple of days, but then it goes away. Unless you genuinely do become truly inspired to take up boxing or 
MMA or any other sort of combat sport after watching stuff in the But for the most part, and we've probably all been here, you take inspiration from something and it goes away within a day. And that's the key point here. Inspiration is just the start. It will go away within hours, a day at the most. So it's not really reliable for long-term success. And the, the next constructs are obviously the things that bridge the gap between when you start to your end result of achieving your, your dietary success. So, you know, sort of expanding upon uh, inspiration. How can we boost inspiration whenever we start dieting? And first and foremost, being around inspirational people is probably one of the most important things. If you're around somebody who's very positive, very outspoken, and certainly within the context of that, and you know, puts out a lot of good content about fat loss, diet, and training, you know, it's kind of like surrounding yourself with positive influences who can really inspire you to go and be successful on your fat loss diet. And by the way, this applies not just to diet, but to anything that you want to take inspiration from. If you're a footballer, I'm sure you probably follow all the best footballers in the world. If you're a boxer, I'm sure you look up to so many world-class elite level boxers. It's the same sort of thing. You know, follow the people that or at the top of their game in their industry or you know whatever goal it is you want to achieve people who have been there and achieved it and have achieved it at a very high, high level or have been excellent in achieving that goal follow those people and just take inspiration from them there's nothing wrong with being inspired by other people nothing wrong at all but don't try and be like that person just take inspiration from them the second thing that you can do to boost motivation is Simply seeing dad success stories. Now, when you see dad success stories, it really does show you what is possible. And it does affirm to you that, fuck, you know, I could be like that person. I could achieve that dietary success. I could drop that two stone. I could drop three dress sizes. You know, I could have abs. If you could just imagine it. You can imagine it in your head. And then when you see it, you see other people go out and achieve it it just adds fuel to the fire for you to go on and actually achieve it yourself now this is probably flipping the coin a wee bit on inspiration because the, the first three things i said there are have a positive connotation but the, the next one is a negative connotation but it can still work nonetheless now sometimes you might have to actually look at yourself in the mirror and see that you're not in great shape and you have to do something about it you could be you know, out with friends, it's the summertime, you're at the beach and you all get a group photo or you get a photo with your friend and you're topless and you look at yourself and you're like, fuck, I look like shit and I really want to do something about it. And there's nothing wrong with that. Don't beat yourself up though. Don't be, don't ruminate on it. Don't excessively be fixated about it. Just say, listen, I don't look the best. In my mind anyway, because beauty is in the eye of the beholder, it's, it's subjective, but um, say to yourself, I want to improve for me and me only. I want to change the way I look because I'm not happy with the way I look. And to do that, I've got to start dieting. So that can actually be something that inspires you too, even though it's the negative sort of side of things. It is a negative, uh, it is within a negative context, but again, it can be just as effective as a positive uh, reinforcement or affirmation. So probably use, make, use a mixture of, t of both positive affirmations, negative aff affirmations, because they can push you and get your ass in gear to really get after it. So in a nutshell, that is inspiration. And again, it is, it's just short term fuel. It's that catalyst for change that you need to start your fat loss journey or to take up any sort of endeavor. Now, the next construct, um, and obviously it is closely related to inspiration, is motivation. So, the term motivation gets tossed around a lot, particularly within self-help and personal development. And there's a lot of misconceptions around it and what it actually means. So motivation is just really the, the need to act, the need to go and put the action in place to achieve something. People often think I need to get motivated to do something. I need to get motivated to take action. When really the reality is it's actually the opposite. You must take action first and then you get motivated. It's not the other way about. And I 
used to think that was the case myself. I used to think, oh, I just need to fucking wake up one day and just be motivated to do something. No, you need to put the action in place first to get motivated. And then from there, your motivation grows. It's just adding fuel to the fire, like I said, about inspiration. You will become more motivated the more successful you are, whatever it is you're pursuing. You see those small changes in the mirror, for instance, and it just, it's like a snowball effect. It just really goes on and on and on, and you get more, take more inspiration from what you're doing, and you get more motivation from the results you're achieving. So, to define motivation, motivation essentially is just that inner desire to to want to dat and sustain the process of dating because I'm speaking within the context of dating. Now, there's two types of motivation. There's internal motivation, intrinsic, external motivation, extrinsic. It, external and extrinsic motivation can get you going. It can be a nice thing to have. And I think the combination of the two does work well. So extrinsic motivation, for instance, would be setting yourself a goal. I want to lose 25 pounds by the 5th of May. And that setting a clear, concise goal really can help you with your motivation. Internal motivation or intrinsic takes a lot longer to develop, but it does come and it's kind of closely linked with passion um, that we'll touch on later. But intrinsic motivation is, yeah, deep down, I want to do this for me and me only. Maybe for our people, maybe look good for my partner, um, maybe to be fit and healthy so I can run after my kids if you have kids. Just being more active and, and being able to do a lot of day to day, everyday life activities. So, you know, motivation does fuel your adherence to your dad as well on a daily basis. But the thing is, though, it waxes and wanes. It isn't linear. It doesn't, what I mean by linear is it isn't like a straight curve. It goes up and then it goes down and it goes up and it goes down on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis. So you have to, you need more than just motivation to keep you going. And again, if you do these things that will boost motivation, for instance, just making sure that you have a good support system in place that will help you stay motivated can really be half the battle. In terms of boosting motivation for that, being surrounded again, like I touched on about on inspiration, being surrounded by positive people who support you in everything you do and want to see you shine and flourish and want the best for you, your friends, your family, your partner, can all be massive things when it comes to boosting motivation when it, com uh, when it comes to that. And even again, this, like I said, uh, motivation is closely linked to inspiration and seeing results, seeing positive results from your own efforts while you're dating it could be the smallest of changes the most subtlest of changes in the mirror but those things really do make the difference um finally just just and that didn't sink in and just being like you know what i actually am fucking making progress here and finally even we things like overcoming temptations whenever you're dating and being proud of that can be a thing that really does boost your motivation even further and it just affirms to you that you know what i am on the right track here I fucking got this shit and I'm going to be looking amazing come the end of this 12 weeks or six months or a year, whatever time frame you've given yourself. But most important of all, set yourself clear, concise goals to work towards. Be very specific about them as well. Set a date, everything. If you're a maniac, set a time. But just set clear, concise goals and that will boost your motivation. So that's the, this is part one of the um, series that I'm doing about how to maintain your motivation when it comes to fat loss or adherence is probably the more apropos word. So this is part one. Thanks for watching. Appreciate all the support of anybody who follows me. And I'll catch you in the next one. Boom.